Hey guys, this is Tony Lodorach again, and you may have seen me on some other videos related to alternative living. Um, yeah, it's, it's becoming quite apparent that the many countries around the world are going into lockdown during this um, COVID-19 crisis. And I don't think it's time to panic. Personally, I think it's time to look for alternatives, look for ways to move forward. So part of this whole program is for me to be able to teach people and share my knowledge. So I'm here to provide you just with some some basic tips on on how we can look for alternatives and what we can do in trying times and I think a good way, a good place to start is um, looking at what are the essentials of of our survival so what are our essentials um, firstly water food shelter and um, security community those type those are like the essentials that we need in order to to survive and to live okay so I think the first thing to do is um, uh, because we don't know what the outcome might be from these lockdowns there might be a, a prolonged economic impact not just the virus itself making people ill but an actual economic impact that might have unforeseen circumstances um, and these could include water cuts power cuts sanitation problems um, and even a food shortage, food supply, food security, and uh, who knows where this could lead, but let's not panic, let's look for solutions. So the first thing would be to find a, a way to store water, a way to conserve water, don't waste water, um, reuse water. Um, from where I'm from in South Africa, people are quite aware of, um, of these water shortages already, so put a shower, uh, a bucket in your shower. Um, reuse that water for your toilet so um, if you've got some water tanks connect your roof gutters to a water tank and get yourself some water um, you know reduce the reliance on the system because the system is going to be going through some um, how can I say uh, a lot of pressure a lot of pressure and um, during these economic times it could be difficult to to keep up with that and then um, food security plant yourself a garden get get some vegetables growing um, if you've got a greenhouse that helps during the winter um, but yeah basic food security and it all starts with conservation don't waste look for things look for alternatives look for food um, methods of growing food consult your nearest uh, um, nursery the guys who know how to grow the food the farmers um, and then of course shelter if you've already got a, a home to live in that's great um, if not then uh, there's ways of, of building shelter with with minimal um, resources and products from nature just natural materials um, with the mud from the earth you know timber from the trees that type of thing and then um, the last thing that I'd like to mention is just community you know there, there's um, of course there's a push to to isolate people but let's be real about this um, community is important no one wants to be alone no one can um, I don't think personally I don't think it's healthy for people to be isolated for too long so I still think it's important to have that social interaction and that social contact and in these times where, they, where there is a virus, we need to obviously be aware of that and take the precautions that are needed to prevent spreading the virus. But I still think it's important to have that social interaction um, in order to interdepend on each other. Because one person might, may know how to grow the food, another person may know how to collect the water, another person may know how to fix the roof. So interdepend. Live in community within your community. But you can still live in your own house, but just, you know, call on your neighbors um, and just be responsible in these times um, and if you want to learn more comment below and I can take you through some guidelines to get you started so anyway have a good day thank you